What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is another entrepreneur video, but today I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing a unboxing of one of the products that I recently ordered. Um, I have a product-based business, if you didn't know, but I, um, I take my own pictures. For the most part, I do all of my product photography and every now and then I'll have a photographer come in or I'll use someone to take photos, but for the most part, I take my own photos. I have a DSLR camera, which I will link in the description box so you will see it. Um, but I just recently put an order in with this company I've been eyeing for a really long time. Um, they're called Replica Surfaces. And so I'll be doing a unboxing of what um, I got in my order. I'll show you guys some of the backdrops that I got. And um, also I'll try to like set it up so you get an idea of what it looks like and then maybe even a sample of a staged um, shoot. So without further ado, da -da 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 -da. I already opened the box. So yeah, this already has the wrap up. Like I've already opened it and used it, but this is one of the backdrops that I got. I'll try to come up close so you can see it. This one, let me get the name of it. I don't want a mistake. This one is called the Subway Tile. And this is how thick it is. It's not very thick at all. Um, if I go all the way back, you can see how tall this is. It's not very tall. So if you were taking this with you, you could easily, you know, hold it in your hand, take it with you. Um, even if you wanted to do a shoot at another location, you could just bring this with you. It's very compact, very thin. And with the surface, it's easy because if you're doing food photography or product photography, you could pour um liquids or ointments or whatever on it and with the material that it has you can just easily wipe it off just clean it off so it's so easy to use so versatile and this literally looks like the backdrop of a kitchen or a bathroom so this i got the subway tile it was a hard choice i got two so i'll do a setup so you guys can see but i got two this one is still in the wrap so it just has their um logo on it so let me just take this out and this is the other one you probably can't they're both like white i don't know if you can see it really good but this is the other one that i got and this one is called sandstone let me make sure this one is called sandstone that i got and then this is the back of it I probably wouldn't use the back for anything, but this is the front of this one. And this one, I was trying to decide between like a marble finish or something similar. So for me, I figured I probably would most likely use this as a base. So I'll probably like sit this one flat and um, then take the subway tile and then layer it like this. Or if I wanted to, I've seen um, pictures where literally you just use one surface and you do a flat lay photo. So you just sit this down and then you come overhead and take pictures this way. I've seen that happen as well. So. What I like about both of these is that you can use them both ways. So technically, I mean, this is only one setup, but honestly, I could do this one setup. I probably wouldn't reverse them. So I would leave the subway tile as the backsplash and then this as a flat surface. Um, but if I wanted to, I could take flat lay shots just on this by itself, which is a whole nother setup. And then, or I could take the subway tile photos and take that by itself, but it works excellent for product photography. So the final thing that came in the box were these stands, um, replica stands. So uh, it has the instructions on the back. But you take one surface, you put it into the um, the stand, and then you put the other one and slide it behind it. And that's kind of how you're able to have it hold its structure and sit up on a flat surface. Um, if you guys look up this company, Replica Surfaces, this is not a sponsored video, y'all. This is literally just me doing an unboxing, trying to share um, some of the tools that I use in my business and hoping that if you are struggling in this area, then it will help you. But this company, y'all, they have so much content. Um, if you just look them up on YouTube, there are so many how-to videos. If you don't know about 
product photography or how to level up your product photos if you're doing your photos yourself. They have so many videos that'll help you out. There's so many inspiration guides. They, um, there's so much. Like if you don't even know what to do, there's so much. There's such a, uh, there's so much to choose from. So what I love about this company is not just the surface, not just the material, not how, just how easy they've made it to literally be able to take that backdrop. It's not thick, it's very thin. So like I remember I was talking to my sister and she was like, why can't you just go to Home Depot and get some tile and use that as a backdrop for your photos? And so I was like, I mean, you could go get some backsplash, but that stuff is heavy. It's real, it's heavy, and I mean, it's the same thing where like if you weigh something on it, you easily could just wipe it off. But this to me is just so much more versatile. I just feel it's just more versatile. And then if I were to do a shoot, I could easily just take this and it's so lightweight. And I think they have a carrying case for it too. So when I do have shoots at other locations for, um, my business, I could just take this, put it in the bag, bring it with me. It's just so easy. So easy. This, this, this is amazing. Okay, this is amazing. So I think you guys should definitely check out Replica Surfaces. And then I'm just going to show you a quick, like, quick setup of how I do it. I'll actually show you how I set it up. Okay, so I just got the surfaces set up. I'm just gonna do a little mock um, like setup so you guys can see what it looks like when you put the products on there. I have like a little table here. It's like a stand-up table and then I have it set up by the window and then I'll kind of explain like why it's sitting like this. So many times when you are doing product photography, you probably either for lighting, you are, if you've watched any videos, you probably either use natural daylight which is the best light for cap capturing the best photos or um you might use like a ring light or have the um, boxes or whatever you might you might have different types of things that you use for lighting but if today in chicago the weather is beautiful today let's see it is 75 degrees it is sunny outside okay and the sun is beaming um and it is two in the afternoon so the light is it's, it's pretty good. It's not way too bright where it's going to just literally kill the shot and you're going to have reflections everywhere. But it's also not too late where the, there's no sunlight and then I have to bring in all this extra light to try to make it up. So I have the setup um, sitting parallel to the window. And if you watch any videos on using these surfaces, if you go on Replica Surfaces YouTube or on the website and you watch any tutorials, um, whenever they have up the surface, they come in and let's say the window is coming, the window is here. Um, I used to set it up like this because I thought it was best for the light to be literally coming directly at the product. I used to have it set up like this. <laughs> but if you watch any tutorials on product photos, um, especially for re replica services, they will tell you that it should be parallel. So if the window, the light is coming in here, you kind of want it to shine from the side coming in, not directly onto the product. So let me just come in here and get this set up some.
just took some photos with my iPhone. I typically take photos, product photos on my camera, but I just took, took some pictures on my iPhone and I will put up a few examples of those here. Um, as you can see, they look really nice, still not bad. This is just with the window lighting. This is not with a white box on either side, but it looks really good. I'm really pleased with my purchase um, and I kind of just wanted to um, allow you guys to experience that with me. And then also if you have a product business or a service based business and you're looking for some, not as maybe like some DIY, I would say maybe DIY ways to figure things out. If you're a person like me, I have new products launching so frequently there's no way that I can have a photographer here for every single moment that I release a new product that something happens you know you kind of got to figure out how to make it work <laughs> unless you got a photographer in your back pocket you got to figure out how to make it work um, especially when you you know with my business things are always changing moving I'm always adding new products the labels the design might change I might have custom orders that I'm doing and I need to take really nice pictures to display them or to send them to the customer so I love these um, surfaces just for that use and so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed this unboxing if you did please give me a thumbs up and in the comments let me know have you ever heard of replica surfaces before if you have what has been your experience did you like them or did you use another um, photo backdrop or something like that for your photos or if you have never used them before for your business let me know in the comments and let me know if you're thinking about checking them out and how that goes for you so if you did enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up up if you want to be a part of my youtube family please hit the subscribe button to receive all um new update notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one bye